because I think it's always nice to have to have some of these at uh, uh, really. You know, whether it's champagne or prosecco. These days I've taken to, to drinking prosecco. I'm a big prosecco fan. I find it's got a, a lovely lightness to it. And for some weather and weather like this, in fact, standing next to this girl, I can believe it really is the middle of summer. Just a Dorothy Parker yeah. reference when I'm sitting there so going, where are I'm you? I'm going to take out our summery prosecco, mix it with our gin. Now, there's a classic cocktail known as the French 75, or the Sapphire 75, as I do it. Uh, taking lemon juice, champagne, or make sapphire a little sugar. Now, this dates back to the First World War in France, but I wanted to update this a little and use some more sort of contemporary citrus. So we're going to use some lovely pink grapefruit. Okay, so it's, again, it's a little softer, a little bit more approachable. Okay, um, who would like to, do you like to make it? Oh, you got a hand guide up straight away. Come on, come on, come on. Love the French 75, so. Lovely. And okay. just so we can tell you. Yeah, I, wonder, I wonder why, Lorraine. Lorraine. Thank you. Everyone, it's Lorraine. Lorraine, please join me up behind the bar here. Weren't you Thank born you, in France or something like that, Lorraine? Yeah, you were yeah, born in France. I was born in Lorraine, France. Oh, wonderful. Which is why I'm Lorraine. And now you're over here. Do you still, you still, obviously, you speak French? Uh, I used to, you don't use it a lot in Vancouver, though. <laughs> you don't yeah, pay regular trips yeah. to Montreal just to practice? No, yeah. no, no unfortunately. Not, not yeah. Yeah. Okay, well, look, what I'm doing here, here we go, look, I've just pressed you some grapefruit juice, so if we can just pour a little grapefruit juice off the side there into the flute. I'll take it from the essence. Wonderful. Back. You're putting in, what, about an ounce, a little more than an ounce here. Yeah, that's perfect. Yeah, absolutely perfect. There's some more left, yeah, we can put it in the other side there. These are wonderful, lovely. Juicy pale pink grapefruits. If you get the deeper, uh, here we go, you get the deeper ruby ones, you get this gorgeous pink hue coming off there as well. Okay, but for now we're gonna, we've got a nice grapefruit. Here we go, empty out the empties. Yeah, let's put a little bit more in there. Oh, just for luck. Yeah. It's a very soft juice, it doesn't add too much sourness. Yeah, I like that because it Okay, so, there you go, so I'll put a little there. And again, we're keeping the sugar down. I think it's, you know, if you think of all the old disco drinks, you know the 70s and 80s and, and early 90s, big disco drinks, yeah, it was all about sugar, 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 different things, you know, grenadine in, in sunrise type drinks and all this sort of thing. And I think today we have to be a little more careful with what we're doing with our cocktails. Um, control the amount of sugar, control the amount of spirit, it's all about flavour, really is about flavour, okay? I'm not sure you imagine you get right to the bouncing around. And we don't need that. Uh, you're blocking your other camera. Sorry. Sorry. Of course, you're essentially, your really, other camera. <laughs> an ounce of Wally Sapphire. You like to throw that into one into each glass. Yeah. And while you're doing that, I introduce you. Um, if you go down to a, I don't know if any of you have seen these in your local sort of Whole Foods stores and so on. The dried roses. Yeah. He's had a wonderful <laughs> bouquet. Can I smell? Oh, it's lovely. It is, isn't it? Yes. Yeah, so we can just add a little floral number. You know, because I think the first two drinks are great for guys and girls. It's lovely to, to entertain your girlfriends with that. It's a little classy, okay? So I'm going to throw in that. There you go, one for that. Actually, just like put one in the other drink. Just a little rose on top there. Okay, so this is going to add like a light rose flavour to our cocktail here. And then very simply, I've got some chilled Prosecco. Now again, you notice we're not shaking. We're not having to stir, strain, do any of this stuff. So you must make sure that the wine you're using, along with the Bombay Sapphire, is nice and cold. So we just pour away. Pour it's that simple. And we just bring these flavors together in a simple manner. And then just add. You're supposed to be smiling. <laughs> of course. Pour it away. Smiling. Okay. And we're just going to add a little extra something to the nose there. We don't need to put this in the drink. But now, in the skins of your citrus, I'm sure you're aware. Look, you can see all these little, the little circles here where I've cut the fruit. Each one of those is full of delicious citrus oils. And we want some of those over the top of the drink here, just to bring the nose up. Now you have to imagine you drink cocktails with all of your senses in one way. You know, you drink them with your eyes first. You know, you see them, it's, it's how delicious they look. It's the feel of a nice glass. We're not going to light them quite yet, you see. So you can do that to express the oils over the top. Right over the top, there you go. And please lift your glass a bit because then you feel the fine glass. You bring it towards yourself to drink and you get the beautiful aroma. Okay, so we've got all this and then you, then you taste it. But then of course, not forgetting before you taste it. Fifth sense. Cheers, you hear it as well, you see. It's all about the little bits. So you engage all five of your senses with the cocktail. It's what we call a sapphire parcel. Okay. And this is one I was told not to miss. Ah, and how does it taste to you? 
Okay, see, very easy. They can leave that no sugar in there whatsoever. It's just the lightness of the wine, the natural sort of sweet sour combination, the beautiful sweetness of a, of a pink grapefruit, along with our sapphire, which is what is lovely. Juniper, the spice, the angelic. It's beautiful. It's both sophisticated. I'm glad you're enjoying that. There we go. You're a big hand. Thank you ever so much. Cheers. And cheers to you. Rob, how are you here? We've got, what have we got to go with our sapphire Barcelona? Oh, yeah. I'm going to go grab this on camera.